Mark Griffith here for RC Hacker. Now, I've been getting into 3D printing and this is, uh, I've done a bit of research into lightweight PLA and all that sort of stuff. People have been printing planes and I thought, PETG, I've had a lot of trouble with it sputtering and stuff when it gets moisture in it. So I thought, why not leave it in a bucket of water overnight? And um, I also added some with a bit of bicarb soda and what I found is that it foams nicely and looks like fairly predictably. So this is a, a normal print, um, just standard what you'd expect and a temperature for, of 210 degrees. The same filament, non-dried, 250 degrees C. This is one that's been soaked in water overnight um, and I immediately pulled it out of the water and just dried it off with a with a cloth and then stuck it in the printer, printed it at 250 degrees and the wall thickness, it's foamed up a bit, is about 1.34 versus the 0.87. I did experiment with some bicarb soda stirred into the water and that is pretty much the same. The bicarb had no effect. I thought it might absorb it and bubble a bit more. And this is one where I just cranked the temperature right up. Um, but actually the last layer was only um, 1.2 millimeters wide there. So yeah, an expansion factor of 1.554 simply by leaving your filament in the water before you print it. How cool is that? No need to buy lightweight PLA and this PETG may be a bit stronger. Anyway, I might do some more experiments with this. So I've got a, another project on the side. It's not an aeroplane. But yeah, I'm going to use this to save a bit of filament and also provide extra insulation. Cheers.